welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video today because it's something that was happening for a few months and then it launched and it's gone really well. So I'm so excited to talk about it and do a more in-depth video about it because I know I've dropped up my stories, but anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and just tell you what the title says. Um, this is my very own edit with new look. Yay! Quickly, if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram if you don't already. The handle is it's Sophie Milner and also follow me on TikTok and everything like that. But new look is a brand that I've worn since I was like eight or nine. I grew up wearing this brand and from the girl section to the adult section and it's just a brand that I've grown up with. So it's so important to me and means so much to me that this was my first edit. And also like a really cute little bit of information as well. I think it's cute anyway, because it's personal to me. So New Look was my first ever paid job as an influencer. They were the first company that ever paid me for some, like it was like, I think it was like a blog post and some Instagram stories. And it was like a one month thing. And there was a few bits going on. And another thing was, so to shoot these photos, I think I'd recently gone through a breakup. So the person who used to hit my pics for me, we weren't together anymore, so I had to find someone else. So I found this photographer called Becky, Becky Spencer. I'm sure loads of you will know her now. And she, I was like her first ever like paid photography client. And she was the first photographer that I'd ever, ever use. And it was to shoot my new look stuff. And it's just so nice that like, she was a photographer for this big campaign for this huge edit. And it was like, I hadn't seen her in a couple of years and it was so good to see her. And we had like a big hug and it was like, a, oh my God, this moment is so nice for both of us. Cause like, it means quite like a lot. So it's just really nice for everything to come full circle. So let's go on to talking about the actual edit itself. <sighs> well, I am so happy with how everything went and how everything looks. And the edit that like the predominant focus was about denim and sustainable denim pieces and things like that. So I've got some of my favorite things to show you from the edit here today and I'll talk you through them. So first of all, let's start with the denim pieces. Let's start with the Adale jeans. Now these, oh my God, I've lived in them since I have got them and they are so good. Now these are a wide leg jeans, but the thing that I will keep talking about with these jeans that if you're a little bit like, ooh, I'm not ready for wide legs, like I prefer slim or skinny or straight, these are a really good like way to break yourself into the trend because they fit really snug on your hips and your thighs and well, the tops of your thighs and your like around your waist. And then it's only like just above your knee that then it just goes straight down and goes into this really nice sort of like subtle straight but wide leg. So they are very, very, very versatile and easy piece to kind of incorporate into your wardrobe. Also I have to say that the denim itself that is all made from sustainable materials, which is a win-win and a bonus. But back to the actual jeans themselves, I think that if you're like struggling how to style them, go to my Instagram, there's lots of ideas. Um, but also if you are struggling to style them, just don't overthink it. Like don't, like I, I would say for people who are new to this, what I would really recommend is to pair the trout, the wide leg jeans with a top, which is more bigger fitting like a tight for now like a tight polo neck or just like a little top like this or some form of like tighter fitting top that way your proportions are balanced you're not going to feel overwhelmed by fabric or anything like that like then you can go on to wearing it like you know the wide leg jeans and like a baggier top and things like that just play with proportions okay let's talk about another pair of jeans so these are the brook jeans and i love these so much and you know i honestly did not think i'd be wearing like a flared jean but these aren't like really like 70s flares these are like a very subtle 90s flare and we all know that to like the 2000s the noughties are coming back in fashion they have been for a while we've got y2k like trends people are wearing flares people we need to get with the program like anything noughties we, we, we're going there we may not be ready for low-rise jeans but we can do a little bit of a subtle flare and these are exactly what these are they are like so nice and also I hate to say it, but I think that they, they they are really flattering. The way they fit you is like, they're so like slim at the top and then they come down into this subtle flare. And then because they just go that little bit longer, like they make your legs look really long. So like someone who's like five foot three and anyone below like my height, that's like shorter, 
these will be really good for making you look taller especially because they have a high waist as well so it basically lengthens your whole leg this is why we still love high-rise jeans anyway these are amazing and they just look so nice okay so i wanted this edit to be about like i really wanted it to be full of like timeless staples things that like you can wear again and again because it launched in the, like mid to end of january and that's like the season where we're about to go into that like oh my god is it spring is it winter like we want pieces that make us feel comfortable and safe so this is why i was like it's so important to pick these things that make us feel that way notably the white shirt so i love this shirt so much the fabric is super super nice and one thing i love about it it's not too long so i find with oversized shirts they can be very very long but they're too short for a dress but when they're so long you can't really tuck them into jeans you can't really like if you wear a sweater over the top they come down like super super long and i'm not saying this just because i'm short i just find in general they're just really long whereas this is a perfect length like it's just kind of like below hip height and i think i just think it's a really easy incredible piece to wear it's something that is such a must-have to have in your wardrobe then on the topic of shirts let's talk about this green shirt so this green striped shirt omg like i love green i love the color green it's something i never thought i'd say but i actually i really i think it must be like because of like bottega like Bottega Green being such a big deal. It's just really kind of put it into my wardrobe so much more. And it can really work with classic pieces just to make it pop. So it's a very similar fitting shirt to this white one, but it is in that color. And I just love that you can dress it up and down. You can style this like with a bralette top worn open with jeans or leather trousers, and it'll look really, really cool. Or you can literally just wear it like with trainers and joggers or something like that and just it will just look so good with so many things. Okay, um, let's talk about this top now. <laughs> I know, like, band tees are my favorite thing. I live in them. So I, it was obvious, like, that I had to have a band style tee in my edit because I just, like, it's almost like an ongoing joke. My mom's like, are you still wearing the same t-shirt? And it's like, no, mom, I have five of these t-shirts. So obviously I had to have one in my collection. The fabric is really, really soft. It's this really nice, soft, cottony fabric. I got a size 12 because I like things to fit me a little bit more oversized. Oh my God. And then we have got this very like Parisian vibe, cropped striped jumper. I think this is so cute. Like paired with the jeans and I keep saying like a little like basket bag in spring it is giving like jane birkin it is giving jane birkin in paris like big time so i i'm i was i just want to put it out there that's how i feel about it okay and then let's talk about jackets as well so obviously on the theme of having things that are timeless classics could not have a timeless classic capsule edit with new look without having a trench coat so I opted for this one and the reason why I picked out this particular trench coat to be part of the edit is because it's actually a really nice classic one it's not super oversized so it's not going to kind of like alienate people who want something more classic and something that's a little smarter but there is this like element of the fit where it's not super fitted either so that like you can play around with proportion. I size up twice to get the fit that, that I have, but then if you want something that is more classic and that's the kind of thing that you really can like wear to a more formal office or wear to like a formal event, then you can get your regular size. So it's just all about playing with that. And because of the particular very simple classic fit, it allows you to do that. And obviously another thing that's a very important thing to have in a timeless classic kind of edit is a biker jacket so we have got this biker jacket here which is really nice it's super affordable vegan leather and it's so nice with this as well i opted for a very similar approach as when i went and picked the trench coat so it's quite a classic fit but if you want it oversized you can size up so it's but it's still got kind of like a boxy element to it which i really like about it then we've got this blazer so this blazer is so nice and i wanted something that you could kind of like wear in the office but also you could wear outside of the office i like it how i've styled it here wearing just these jeans with it and i think it looks very very cute but also like it is the kind of thing that you could slip over on the top of like a smart dress like a black dress or something if you're going to the office 
And that's one thing that I'm always asked for. People are like, have you got any ideas of workwear? So that's why I wanted to incorporate something like that into my edit because I know that people do want to see that kind of thing. So let me talk about the skirt as well. So the skirt, I love like really cute little skirts and things like that. I want something that's like very simple and timeless once more. And I love this check skirt because you can throw it on with this white shirt. And also I think it would look really cute. This, this, and a gray oversized sweater on top would look so nice. Then with a trench coat and a nice little bag. And if it's more like springtime, you can do bare legs and a pair of trainers. But for now, it would be like tights and boots situation. That would be such a cute little outfit. Then let's talk about accessories. So we have these really cute bags and oh my God, I love them. <gasps> so let's talk about this micro bag first. It is so cute and so tiny. It is the perfect going out bag. Or if you're being super minimal in the daytime, very, very, very good minimal day bag. We love it. It is so cute. But if you want a bag that can kind of do a little bit more and do both, we have got this bag. It's kind of inspired by the Louis Vuitton multi pochette bag. And it's very cute because it's got like the extra strap. It's got the strap and the extra pocket. And then you can want to remove the strap and the pocket. And then you've just got this teeny tiny bag that you can just like take out in the evening and have it as like more of a streamlined, cute, naughty, like Y2K sort of vibe bag. I love it. I just think it's so nice. And I just love things that like, I love overachievers. I love things that <laughs> overperform. So yeah, that's one thing I really like about that. And then let's go on to shoes because I've got some really nice shoes to show you. So we have got, first of all, for the more like going out vibe, we have got these heels. Now, I need to tell you how comfortable these are. So I shot these, we shot the campaign and I wore these for ages walking around Chelsea where we did the shoot. They were really comfy. They are really comfy. This here, there was no rubbing on the back of my heels at all. They are incredibly comfy. They're also vegan leather as well. They're also part of the Love Comfort range, which I think is super important because we want heels that are comfortable. So if you do have any events coming up, weddings especially, oh my God, these will be a really good pair of heels that will see you through wedding season because they are that comfortable. Another incredible pair of comfy shoes are these this is so much fun <gasps> i love these because it blends mules with like a classic loafer with a chunky heel and then puts these really big amazing chains on which is kind of giving Givenchy meets chanel vibes and i really love it i just think it's so cute um these are these are really nice to pair with jeans but also with skirts as well and they are very very comfortable as well and surprisingly insanely easy to walk in i feel like you look at these and you'd be like oh my god they're really high they're gonna be really difficult to walk in they're not they're not they're so comfortable and so easy to walk in like they really like hug your foot it's almost like it's like with your foot and then like you're just stepping along so honestly trust me they're really good. Then we've got these. Oh my God, I think they come in black now. I really like this color, but they also come in black if you're a bit more of a classic kind of outfit seeker. These are so comfy. Like they're all so comfortable. Like no blisters, nothing like that. Like having comfortable shoes is so important because otherwise like you're just not gonna wanna leave the house because no one wants to walk around in uncomfortable shoes. But these are not uncomfortable. These are just, oh my God. They're great. And I love the fact that they are like a kind of off white, like an ivory white with a black sole because it means that you can wear a black handbag and it will still go really nicely with the shoe. It will pull the whole outfit together. Whereas I feel if these were all one color, if they were all the same the same color on the, um, the sole, I think that it would be too much of a clash to wear a black handbag personally. These do actually come all in all black. So if you like them, but aren't so keen on this color. They do come in black now. Um, also, one thing finally. This nice like chunky heel and sole situation gives quite a little bit of like added height to someone who is small, like me. And then obviously we need some very, very simple trainers. So I pulled these in for my edit as well because I like, I love white trainers. They go with everything. They, you can wear them so much. And these are, once again, very, very comfortable and easy to wear. What I especially like is this little detailing at the back. It's just this like faux kind of like croc effect as well. So they're just a very, very simple, easy shoe to wear. You can throw them on. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I was so excited showing you that edit. I spoke really fast. 
I think I wanted to get this done, like, be like, I need to tell you all about it really quickly because I don't want to, like, be really slowly, like, talking all this detail about everything. And I've ended up speaking really fast, so I really, <laughs> I really hope it was okay. Um, but thank you so much for watching and thank you for everyone who supported this edit, who has bought it. Thank you to New Look, who's given me this amazing opportunity. It's been so much fun and I really cannot wait to get another opportunity to do something like this again in the future and like pull these amazing pieces for you and create something so cool and another amazing like capsule wardrobe but yeah for the meantime please do like this video hit subscribe to my channel um if you want to follow me on instagram why wouldn't you um you can and um the link is here but yeah uh, i will see you for the next video bye guys